So what performs better, your Kent Faststeel 2.0 or your much more expensive black cloud steel with flight stopper pellets? Well, today we're gonna put it to the test. George here with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel, and five year long running podcast helping you break into pretty much any kind of hunting from level zero. And today we're gonna put two of the biggest steel loads on the market head to head to the test. Now we've got the Kent Fast Steel 2.0 precision plated steel versus the Black Cloud flight control wad with the flight stopper pellets. Both of these are three inch shells, one and a quarter ounce load. The Fast Steel has 50 feet per second more than the Black Cloud. 1500 versus 1450 feet per second. But the Black Cloud has the flight stopper pellets, which as I understand it are slightly odd shaped in order to, I suppose, tumble on entry in order to create more devastating wound channels. However, the Kent Fast Steel's plating may give it better patterns and potentially more penetration due to the plating. And then don't forget that extra 50 feet per second. Now, the big story between these two ammunitions here is the price, all right? This comes in at roughly 40 to 50% more than the Kent Fast Steel. Very similar on the specs. So what do you get for that extra 40% price tag? Well, you get the flight stopper pellets and you get the flight control wad, which is supposed to give you better patterns. So we're gonna test these today with my Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel and a Carlson Sporting Clays extra full choke tube. Now wait, hold on, extra full. What are you talking about, George? You can't use an extra full choke tube on steel. Blah, 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 tell me all about it. I've done test videos with both of these loads and this same gun in a variety of choke tubes and this was the best performing choke tube for both loads. I can link to those videos at the end of this one. So we're gonna run it through that one. We're gonna test them at 40 yards with a pattern test, and then we're gonna ballistics gel test them to find out which one has more penetration. And I am very interested to find out what happens here because I've had really good results with the Kent Fast Steel. I've not used this one so much, but people talk so much about it and the marketing is so over the top that I'm expecting this thing to just blow the Kent out of the water. But we'll find out. All right, let's head down to the range. Well, we made it down to the range. I've got my eye protection in. I got my Tetras in for ear protection, which reminds me, guys, the statistics say that 86% of you guys watching this do not wear hearing protection while hunting waterfowl or anything else for that matter. Guys, that is insane. What are you doing? You guys gotta stop this, all right? This is crazy. I've never met one elderly hunter who had 10% of his original hearing left who said, hmm, yeah, that was a good idea hunting all those years without ear protection. All right, guys, you gotta get ear protection. Now, if you're saying, well, George, you know, I, I can't afford it. Can't afford it? Earplugs cost a dollar, one dollar. And there's a dozen companies that make decent over the ear, earmuff style electronic hearing protection for the cost of a box of ammo. Guys, you gotta wear hearing protection. If you're not at a place right now where you can afford something totally stellar and outstanding like the Tetris, and I've been there, start where you are and work your way up. All right, we got the Mossberg here loaded up with the Carlson's extra full sporting clays choke tube. And we're gonna lead off first with the fast steel. All right, next up we have the Black Cloud. And yes, if you're wondering, we're not using a tripod today. The reason is I keep shooting low and left with the tripod. I believe it impacts my shooting position, which then affects eye and front bead alignment. So we're gonna freehand it and see if that doesn't do better. All right, let's go see how we did. I've got both targets here laid out, some really impressive patterns. Let's go ahead and take a look. First, we've got the fast steel. Totally dead duck. Next, we have the black cloud. Also very dead. 
Now, if I had to say which one of these two I thought was maybe the better pattern, hard to say, maybe the fast steel, but that's why we count every single pellet and turn these pictures into data, which is what this channel does more than I think anybody else out there. So I'm gonna do that, get you guys the information, but first, the ballistics gel test. We now have the ballistics gel set up at 40 yards and we're gonna take our shot with the fast steel. All right, and go turn the gel around so we can make sure we can see which one is which, and then we'll do another shot. The gel is now turned around, and we've got our black cloud. Now, if you guys are wondering which one of these two loads kick harder, is it the fast deal with its extra velocity, or is it the black cloud with its extra marketing? The Black Cloud has a lot more kick to it, and I have no idea why. I'm wondering if it's buffer material inside there, something that's increasing the mass, but it hits a lot harder than the Fast Steel. Same payload, the Fast Steel's even going faster, but the Black Cloud has way more recoil. All right, we're gonna go take a look at this ballistics gel, but first need to let you guys know nobody is sponsoring this video, but ask you to please support the channel by clicking the thumbs up button so this video can help reach more people. And if you like videos like this, test reviews, kicking the tires on assumptions, you might wanna hit the subscribe button as well. All right, let's go see what happened. We've got the Black Cloud and the Fast Steel here in the ballistics gel. Something to keep in mind, guys, the Black Cloud has two different kinds of pellets in it. It's got the premium regular steel and then the premium flight stopper steel. Now what the difference is, I am not entirely sure, but one is black and then one is more silver in color. So there's two different colors of stuff in the black cloud versus the fast steel, which looks almost the same as the silver ones in the black cloud. So it's kind of hard to eyeball this, but let's go ahead and take a look. From left to right, you've got the fast steel. That's about three inches. And then from right to left, we have the black cloud, about another three inches. So they look pretty evenly matched. You got the different colors, you got all stuff going on, crisscrossing, so I'm not entirely sure which one looks like it's ahead. Maybe Black Cloud has a bit of an edge, uh, but eyeballing it's not good enough for me, shouldn't be good enough for you either, which is why I'm gonna count these pellets, I'm gonna do some math, put them into a chart, and see what the actual numbers are. All right, now the work begins. Time for the moment of truth. The big story here though that doesn't make sense to me guys is the recoil. Why does the Black Cloud have more recoil? I tried looking into this, I tried looking in to see if there's buffer material or something in there, uh, but I could not find any explanation as to why the Black Cloud might have more recoil. If you've shot these two shells, let me know down below in the comments if you found it to have more recoil than the Kent Fast Steel. It is a mystery to me right now. Also guys, I wanna invite you to consider supporting the channel on Patreon. All this stuff costs money, all right? the shells, I bought both of these ammos with my own money, the paper, the targets, the ballistics gel, all of it costs money and I really appreciate all of my Patreon supporters that help make these videos possible. All right, right to the data. Check this out guys, pellets in a 30 inch circle, the black cloud, 173 pellets, 72% pattern efficiency. Not bad, honestly, not a bad pattern, not bad pattern efficiency. The fast steel though, comes out with 213 pellets in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. 89% pattern efficiency. Now that is outstanding. Also the fast steel came out ahead 23% better pattern, all right? 23% more pellets on the paper at that range. Now, I really thought the Black Cloud might do better with its flight control wad and all its fancy technology and marketing, but the Fast Steel, way ahead of it. You take a look here now at the ballistics gel. The Black Cloud, 2.97 inches of ballistics gel penetration. The Fast Steel comes in, 2.93 inches of ballistics gel penetration. All right, so the Black Cloud is ahead. It does have more ballistics gel penetration by a whopping 1%. That's right, 
1% more ballistics gel penetration. Now, that's interesting for a couple reasons. One, the Fast Steel did have a little bit more velocity. So the Black Clouds tech was able to offset that velocity disadvantage and still come out ever so slightly ahead. So that's a good sign. Now the big question people have is, George, did those flight control pellets actually produce more devastating wound channels in the ballistics gel? Well, guys, that is a tough question to answer. In the ballistics gel, it looks like no difference whatsoever between the number four flight stopper pellets and then the number four regular steel pellets. I could not tell any difference whatsoever in the wound channel, in the lines, any tumbling, nothing. So do they produce any more effect on wounding animals? It's very possible that in a duck, when you're hitting flesh and blood and bones, that the flight stopper pellets may have more impact that we're just not able to measure here in this ballistics gel. So what's the bottom line? Well, I think that the Black Cloud proves itself as viable ammunition. It's certainly effective. It does not have any decrease in ballistics gel penetration versus faster steel ammo. But the Kent Fast Steel has way more pattern density, a lot more pellets on the paper, and it costs a lot less. Now, keep in mind, you may get different results out of your gun and choke tube. Always test. But if it was me and this gun, which it is, I would buy the Kent Fast Steel instead of the Black Cloud due to the cost difference and the improved pattern performance out of my gun and chokes. Now, the next thing you guys should do is check out these two videos right here where I pattern test both of these loads through multiple chokes choke tubes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.